Hello everyone, welcome back on another video on getting started with MATLAB Simulink. So in this video, we are going to deal with three major blocks used for MATLAB Simulink. So these blocks are unit delay, memory and zero order holds. So the first thing by looking at this block that comes to mind is that these blocks are the same or the functioning of the, these blocks are same. So the answer is the functioning of each blocks is same but it has but they are having different capabilities and the purpose of each blocks is completely different. So what will be the use of and where where we are using these blocks? So these blocks are using essentially use for anyone working on digital control system, signal processing and the simulations. So the first we will talk about the unit delay block. So this block as shown here is the unit delay block and this gives the output as the delay uh, one unit delay in, in the input signals. So it delays the input signal by one sample period. So what is the use of memory? So this memory blocks will give use the output from the previous sample time. So for example, you are having the output is y of n, your input is x of n. So your y of n will be x of n minus 1. So it holds the, the first input and the gives the uh, output in the present state. So it holds the previous states and gives the output in the present states. So the next block is zero order holds. So what's the use of zero order hold? So for example, you are having a discrete signals and which are having the different magnitudes like this. So what it will do, the zero order holds will hold that particular value until unless the output not changed. So here the input is changed. So here output will changed and it will hold the same value until unless the input is not changed. So generally it can be, it is converting your discrete signal into the continuous signals. Okay, so these are the basic purpose of the zero order holds. So one more thing here, you, you must taking care of that when you are using the unit delay blocks. So you must taking care of if you are using the unit delay block for the for different sampling rates blocks, it will give you the error. So when you are doing, if two blocks are having different samples time and you are keeping the unit delay block in between. So this will skew use the error. So instead of using the unit delay block, you use red transition block. And this red transition block, which we have talked in the previous videos, and the link is given in the descriptions. So the unit delay blocks errors out if you're using to create a transition between the blocks that are operating in a different sampling rate. So you can use the rate transition block instead of the unit delay block. So as we already discussed about the unit delay memory and the zero order hold, now we will go to the MATLAB Simulink. So this is the MATLAB Simulink block diagram. So we have used the unit delay memory and the zero order holds and we are using the pulse generator. And we are using three scopes and we are checking the inputs and the output of the unit delay block, memory block, and zero order holds. So now we will go to the MATLAB simulink and we will perform the simulations. So here 
we are just opening the pulse generator and you can see the settings so we are using the amplitude one and the period of one millisecond with and which are having the 50 percent duty cycle so now we will go to unit delay block and we have taken the sampling time of one mic 10 microseconds and the memory block we are using the inherent samples time and the zero order hold we are using the 1.5 milliseconds 1.5 to 10 uh, 15 milliseconds sample time so we will just run it and we will see the output of each blocks now you can see here when you are using the unit data block what will be the output so when we are using the unit data block so this is your actual inputs and this is your delayed output so unit delay block will delay the output by 1 by 10 microsecond as you can see here the total difference between it is 1.01 into 10 to the power minus 3 and it is 1 into 10 to the power minus 3 so it is giving the major difference is 10 microsecond so it is giving the one sampling is 10 delay in the output when we are using the unit delay so now we will go to the memory block and we will see the output so you can see here it is also giving the same delay and uh, the thing is here you can see that this is your input and the output will be uh, this output will be delayed by this uh, time period that is inherent time period so the zero order holds will holds the input uh, for as you can see here we have given 1.5 into 10 to the power minus 3 so this is the time period until up to this time period it will hold the input and uh, it will change the output so here you can see that up to 1.5 into 10 key power minus 3 it will holding this one so now here the input is at this instant the input is zero so it will hold the input for the same time interval and again it will hold the input one for the next time interval so this is what the zero order hold is used so it is used to hold the input signals and uh, and gives the outputs so this is the use of unit delay memory and the zero order holds and uh, you can use uh, for your applications in the matlab solving and uh, if you found this video is useful please give the thumbs up and subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon for the latest update thank you